go after love, still desiring to have the things which the Spirit gives, but most of all, that you may have the prophet's power. For he who makes use of things is not talking to man, but to God, because no one has the sense of what he's saying. But in the Spirit, he is talking of the secret things. But the words of the prophet give men knowledge and comfort and strength. He who makes use of things may do good to himself, and he who gives the prophet's word does good to the church. Now, though it my desire for you all to have the power of things, but it would give me more pleasure to be hearing the prophet's word from you. This is a greater thing than using thumb. If the sense is not given at the same time, for the good of the church. But now, my brothers, if I come to you using thumbs, what profit will be to you? If I do not give you a revelation or knowledge or the word of the prophet or teaching. Even things without life, having a voice, such as a music pipe or other instrument, if so they do not give out different sounds, who may be certain what has been played? For if the war horn gives out an uncertain note, who will get ready for the fight? So if you, in using a straight thumb, say words which have no sense, how will anyone take in what you are saying? For you will be talking to the air. There are, it may be, a number of different voices in the world, no voices without sense. But if the sense of the voice is not clear to me, I am like a man from a strange country to him who is talking, and he will be the same to me. So if you are desiring the things which the Spirit gives, let your mind be turned first to the things which are for the good of the Church. For this reason, let the man who has power of using thumbs make requests that he may at the same time be able to give the sense. But if I make use of thumbs in my prayers, my spirit makes the prayer, but not my mind. What then? Let my prayer be from the spirit and equally from the mind. Let my song be from the spirit and equally from mine. For if you give a blessing with the spirit, how will the man who has no knowledge say, so be it, after your prayer, seeing that he has not taken what you are saying? For you giving of the blessing is certainly well done, but of no profit to the man without knowledge. I give praise to God that I am able to make use of things more than you all. But in the church, it will be better for me to make use of five words of which the sense was clear so that others might have profit than ten thousand words in a strange thumb. My brothers, do not be children in mind, and evil be as little children, but in mind be of full growth. In the law it said, By men of other thoughts and by strange lips will my words come to this people, and not even so will they give ear to me, says the Lord. For this reason, Thorns are for a sign, not to those who have faith, but to those who have not. But the prophet's word is for those who have faith, and not for the rest who have not. If then the church has come together, and all are using tongues, and there come in a man without knowledge or faith, we do not say that you are unbalanced, but if all are teaching as prophets, and a man without faith or knowledge comes in, he is tested by all, he is judged by all. The secrets of his heart are made clear, and he will go down his face and give worship to God, saying that God is truly among you. What is it then, my brothers? When you come together, everyone has a holy son, or a revelation, or a thumb, or is given the sense of it. Let everything be done for the common good. If any man makes use of a thumb, let it not be more than two, or at the most three, and in turn, and let someone give the sense. But if there is no one to give the sense, let him keep quiet in the church, and let his word be to himself and to God. And let the prophets give their words, but not more than two or three, 
Let the others be judges of what they say. But if a revelation is given to another who is seated near, let the first be quiet. For you may all be prophets in turn, so that all may get knowledge and comfort. And the spirits of the prophets are controlled by the prophets. The God is not a God whose ways are without order, but a God of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. Let women keep quiet in churches, but it's not right for them to be talking. But let them be under control, as it says in the law. And if they have a desire for knowledge about anything, let them put questions to their husband privately. For talking in the church puts shame on a woman. What? What is from you that the word of God went out? Or did it only come into you? If any man seems to himself to be a prophet or to have the spirit, let him take note of the things which I am writing to you as being the word of the Lord. But if any man is without knowledge, let him be so. So then, my brothers, let it be your chief desire to be prophets, but let no one to be stopped from using thumbs. Let all things be done in the right and order way.